Malaysian authorities are defending their handling of the hunt for a missing plane as the massive task facing an international search mission continues for a fifth day. So many vessels and aircraft, so many countries to all coordinate and a vast area for us to search. And each time that passes, I fear that the search and rescue uh, becomes just a search. But we will never give up hope. And this, I, this we owe to the families. 43 ships and 39 aircraft from at least eight nations are scouring nearly 36,000 square miles. The search team could grow even larger as Indian authorities have been asked to join the search. The mystery over the plane's whereabouts have been confounded by confusing and occasionally conflicting statements by Malaysian officials. Adding to the anguish of relatives of the 239 people on board the flight, two-thirds of which are Chinese. In Beijing, family members met with an envoy from Malaysia. I'm not very satisfied, said this woman. There are many things that have still not been clearly explained, and they still haven't met our requests. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 took off from Kuala Lumpur for Beijing early Saturday and fell off civilian radar screens about 35,000 feet above the Gulf of Thailand between Malaysia and southern Vietnam. It sent no distress signals or any indication it was experiencing any problems. Authorities have not ruled out any possible cause, including mechanical failure, pilot error, sabotage, or terrorism. Bob McCall, Associated Press.